Now an update on the Target 12 investigators exclusive trail of debts. We've learned the attorney representing state representative Carlos Tabone in a private matter has asked a judge to remove him from that case. The request comes in the wake of our investigation that revealed Tabone has had a long list of financial disputes. Some have landed him in court. Target 12 investigator Tim White joining us live in studio this half hour. So Tim, the lawyer for Tabone is stepping down now yep. as a result, a direct result of a new policy put in place by House Speaker Joseph Shikarchi in the wake of your report. Right, and that policy prohibits all General Assembly staff attorneys from representing members of the House and Senate in private legal matters. As we revealed, that's just what was going on with Tabone. You can see him here in an interview with me from our investigation. John Manny, who is the chief legal counsel for the House House Judiciary Committee was to Bone's attorney in a civil suit. A judge in that case ultimately ruled the law lawmaker has to repay a woman $45,000 for a loan he borrowed 17 years ago. Now the case is still active because Tabone has not made a payment yet, so today Manny filed a motion with the court asking the judge to allow him to step down as Tabone's lawyer. I met up with Speaker Shikarchi on Friday and he told me why the arrangement didn't sit well with him. It's the appearance of a conflict, appearance of impropriety, and I think it's important that we try to keep as clear as possible away from those types of uh, activities. There's certainly enough legal work around that people don't have to, you know, get legal work from the state house. There's plenty of clients around. And Tim, you and your team reported that Tabone has been sued at least seven times yeah. by people, companies, or in one case, a city for money it was owed. Um, did Manny represent him in any other case? We found just that one uh, case, Kim, but interestingly, Tabone was sued by the estate of a man who loaned the lawmaker about $7,000, and Tabone hadn't fully repaid him when the man died the following year. In that case, his lawyer was State Representative John Lombardi of Providence. Now, Tabone ended up paying the majority of the outstanding debt as a result of the lawsuit. How about the lawyers here? Yeah. Did Tabone pay for their work? Well, uh, in the case of Lombardi, Tabone told me he bought his fellow lawmaker a meal. Uh, it, with Manny, the answer is no, it, at least not yet, Brian. Tabone said he was still working that out, but it's something Shikarchi is concerned about. He does not want taxpayer services being used on private legal disputes of lawmakers. And we know the Speaker also removed Tabone from the House Finance Committee because yeah. of all of the questionable financial transactions and business deals that you and your team had uncovered. It's springtime. That committee is supposed to get very busy right now. Yeah, it is budget <laughs> season, and I asked the speaker if he has chosen a successor yet, a successor yet and I have not heard back uh, from his mm. spokesperson in that case. But House Finance is arguably the most powerful committee at the State House because they hold the purse strings. Those members decide how taxpayer money is spent. So it's an important pick for the speaker. Shikarchi also asked Tabone to resign from a task force he was co-chairing on how the state should spend $1.1 billion in federal COVID relief money. If you have not seen the full report, it is absolutely worth your time. The full investigation is on our website in the 12 News app at WPRI.com. Tim White, thanks for being here. Thank you.